Hey everybody, Todd over at Customized Creations and Designs by Todd. And we are going to be working on our uh, 120 watt 3D laser from OMG. Richard Zhang is a really good person to work with. I highly recommend if you're looking at buying a laser to talk with Richard. Just tell him I sent you. But anyways, we're going to work with the 3D aspect of it. And this is our EasyCAD 3 and you'll see that there is a 3D button up here. We're going to click on that, and it gives us a toolbar up here. We're going to go into our STLs, and I designed this to uh, test some things that I want to... I'm just working on this and trying to figure it out myself, my settings and things like that. So I designed this little uh, odd-shaped piece with a lot of little uh, facets to it. So we brought the file in. You can see once this pops up, if you have a bigger file, this is an extremely small one. If you have a really big file and everything, it'll take a while to load. But we're going to bring it to the center of our uh, page here, to our zero, 00 point. So we're going to go to this little plus symbol and click on that. And we're just going to go in there and hit center. And you can see at this point, it is brought to the center of our part here. We are going to go over to our left view, and you can see that it is underneath and above our zero line. I am going to be doing an embossment, so I want this to be completely underneath the zero line. So we'll go back, and you can click on your Z and hit center. And uh, I'm sorry, that put us to the center of that there. We're going to go, and I know on this one, if I type in zero, and I'll show you, zero, and we hit enter, you can see that a tiny, tiny section is above the part. So I'm going to go back into that. And I know that, because I've already messed with this a little bit. I'm going to go two thousandths underneath zero. And you can see now it is fully underneath the line there. And I don't know if that line's going to show up or not, but we are underneath it so at this point right now if we were to go ahead and send this over to the laser and try and emboss it what it's going to do it's going to engrave it and it's not it's going to remove the actual image and not pull the image out and emboss it so think concave convex uh we want to go with an embossment so what we need to do then is we're going to make a square And I'll select that square. And this brings you, once you start to modify this and everything, it'll bring you into the 2D aspect again. And I think we had 0.35 on that. All right. So shift C to center. It's our shortcut there. And we're going to go back into our 3D here. So now you see that I got a square around this. At this point, we know we are building up an embossment. At this point also, we have not sliced our STL file. So we're going to go into this little spot here, surface delamination, and we're gonna slice it. So you can go ahead and you know make sure your Z value is checkmarked there. Click that over, and then this one here, I have it at zero. If you click that over, it's going to bring it down and take away that uh, two thou clearance that I put in there to make sure that it's fully lasering the whole part. If we click that over, it's going to be starting at negative two thousandths, and we want it to start at zero. So on this particular application, that's what my setting is going to be. But most of the time, you can just click over, click over, and you're going to be good. Now, your thickness here, I am in inches, so that'll be different than probably a lot of you guys are working with metrics. Um, I am one thou on my step down for the laser. So I'm going to have 92 layers because my part is 92 thousandths deep. If we change that and go to two thousandths, you will see that we are now at 46. We're half the distance, basically. And same thing, let's go up to 10 and make a big drastic change. Now we only have 10 layers. So working with this also, um, I'm not sure because I haven't delved into it deep enough yet, 
but to see if you were able to do multiple layers uh, the more layers the better the longer it's going to take but your speed and settings for your power uh, your frequency your pulse width and all that and everything will also play uh, a part in the accuracy and the smoothness of your finished product so we're going to go back to one thou and give us 92 layers and click OK and you'll see at this point and everything uh, we don't see where it's showing that it, it uh, sliced it but if we go into add contour and we have our part here and we click on our contour we got to go back into 3D and now you see it has hatched and down here there's a current display for layer index and you'll see it is marked 1 through 90 now I should have 92 I'm not exactly sure I'll have to look into that a little bit again but if you start clicking on it you can see that it is stepping down and it is showing you that at 18 thousandths down into our part this is what we're gonna see and if we keep clicking it just brings more and more as it's going deeper and deeper now you can also go over here and just type in a value let's type in 80 and hit enter now you have to click to go to 81 and it'll show you now if you just click in a number and hit enter it doesn't do anything so you have to if you wanted to be at uh, layer 80 type in 79 and then hit your up tick to get it to 80 and same thing you can reverse it back up and everything as well too so we'll go to layer 2 hit enter I don't know why I'm even hitting enter but there we are so that is that point now we can set our hatch settings now I have uh, one thou is a step over my line spacing and I am doing two passes on the count I got a cross hatch uh, that is my laser uh, configuration for uh, the step over I have an auto rotate for 10 degrees and we're gonna click OK now I'm gonna go in and set up on my number one there zero pen I'm sorry Go to my parameter for libraries. These are all things I figured out over time. I'm going to pick zero. Sorry, I'm kind of messing that up. I'm picking my deep engrave. And you can see my settings for the deep engrave here. Um, I'm going to change that speed up to 100. Just because I want it to be a little bit smoother. And you know what? I might actually just go ahead and add one more pass in there as a smoothing polishing pass we'll keep that at one count so it's only going to go across at once i don't need to do a hatch on that one so we will click okay and i'm going to be curious to see because there's a bug in this and everything and it does it on the 2d if we go into our blue hatch here and pick up my polishing normally what happens in the 2d and we'll take a look in a second is that it'll wipe out everything you've done so if you have to set your laser parameters before you set your hatch and which hatch color you want it to be so for instance we'll go in here and see it does not do it in a 3d it actually works the way it should so in 2d hatch one would be pen one hatch two would be pen one if you set it up previously, hatch 1 was pen 0 and hatch 2 was pen 1, and you went in and inputted settings to pen 1 and hit OK. We'll click out of that. If you went over here and changed these settings and everything, it automatically changes all your hatches to pen 1. So be careful on that. I've learned a couple of lessons working on that. So at this point and everything, we are ready to go, and this should laser out my part. I'm going to stop the video and I will do a hyperlapse and you guys can watch that.